Let's go back to the acquisition example and assume that the price that the current owner of the firm is willing to sell the firm for is 1.6 billion. What is the NPV of buying this firm? The cash flows in years one, two, and three are the same as before. But in the NPV formula, we now need to include the cash flow in year zero, which in this case is minus 1.6 billion, the amount we pay. The NPV is then given by this expression. Note that we already know part of it. The last three terms equaled 1.81 billion, as we computed before, and the NPV is therefore minus 1.6 plus 1.81 or 0 0.21 billion. In this case, the NPV is positive. The reason is that by acquiring this firm, you are essentially buying a cash flow stream with cash flows of 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 2.15 billion that you value at 1.81 billion for only 1.6 billion. The difference between the value of the cash flows you acquire and the price you pay for them is the NPV. We say that by undertaking this acquisition, you create 0 0.21 billion in value. Not bad. I would like to highlight the difference between this example and the Computronics examples we solved earlier. In the Computronics example, we said that the price of Computronics was exactly equal to the present value of its cash flows. In this example, however, we argue that the amount paid is lower than the present value of the cash flows. Why could this be? When we went over the Computronics example, we assumed that the cash flows that the current owners obtained from the firm are the same as the cash flows the new potential owners obtain. No matter who owns Computronics, the firm generates $44,000 next year. Therefore, the value of the firm for both the current owner and the potential new owner was the same, the $44,000 discounted to today or $40,000. In this acquisition example, it could be that this assumption no longer holds. It might be, for example, that the reason why your buyout firm wants to go ahead with this transaction is that it believes it can operate the firm much better than the current managers and hence obtain higher cash flows. The cash flows I gave you, the 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 2.15 billion, represent the cash flows the buyout firm obtains if it buys the firm. However, if the firm remains with the current owners, the cash flows could be lower. This is one reason why the value of the firm for the current owner might be lower than the value of the same firm for the buyout firm. 